Alright, see it there. The my fireworks and are real. Hey guys, real quick. So we have friends today, Sabbath, and we have some friends that came to look for us. So let's go. Hi guys. Meet Jamie. Hello. <laughs> and you guys know Davian. And Davian. you guys know Davian. <laughs> and you know Hugh. And you know Fingers. who? Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> and for everybody who did ask if, if my best man, if Zandra's best man is single, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk off the air. <laughs> yeah, I got left me for an hour. But yeah, we're going good to church now, so. Come along, along with us. us. So we're on our way to Adisi's book launch. I shall prevail. So I'm not sure how it's gonna look on the um on the camera. But if you haven't gotten it, you should. It's a very nice devotional. We're going to that and of course we're going to worship at West Jamaica Conference Auditorium. And we'll we'll see our friends. It's been a very friend filled Sabbath. And when I know said when a friends Andre loves that. Last night when we had the live after the live, normally Zondre and Raim up a talk until late. And then Zondre ended up drop asleep. But he, he didn't want them to leave. And he couldn't say goodnight and go sleep. So he up fall asleep in the conversation. You know them way then? I was so tired. Yeah. In 2022 and years prior, we really took for granted the blissful opportunity presented by good Christian friends. Well, to be honest, that's probably more a me problem than a we problem. Because Zara is way better at keeping up with our friends. I just love to sit and chat. Got that right. And as we look back on the year, we, we have no regrets. Just lessons learned and challenges overcome. Definitely, the highlight was when he put a ring on it. <laughs> but the biggest lesson we learned was the importance of a solid community of Christian friends for 2023 is that every member in our XYZ fam will be able to build out a support system of good Christian friends that will help us on the journey and make the experience worth it. So guys, we came for the book launch, but then what about Hi. Stevie and Dwayne? <laughs> yeah. And Michael yes. And we never my Michael baby. I will never remember say mm -hmm. book launch. So I can't meet him. So sorry. Hi. <laughs> You're shy. Yeah, I'm shy. Pick up. Hey guys. Nice to see you. I fake games that <laughs> no games. <laughs> no. So right. it fake because this morning we say, oh, how do I games now? Oh, we're not on a chair, we're not on a table. <laughs> we're not on a game. <laughs> So we are hopes that right now we have one over there. Alright. Oh, we're not a food, so we just have to stop by and get some things. Alright, we'll subscribe to the fake things. Okay. Everybody can walk good. Hi, Adam! To Alex or Oh, I go on, bro. Oh, this! Oh, God, oh, God. Yeah, we're there, but. You look at autograph. Yo, Alex. You look at autograph. Oh, yes, I feel like it's a Christmas day, you're fine. Oh, she said my mother would have been perfect. You look like all five years younger than the last time. Miss Samia Rupert, you know. It's good to see you. You didn't really come yet. No, Sanna, yet. Yeah. Give me one next 20 years. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're not doing well. You're not doing well at all. Honey, honey, how you doing? Know? It's good to see you. Hi, darling. Oh, I love you. How are you? Oh, you got it. Oh, you get another yeah. people, baby. Mr. Charlie. You always want to pick up people, baby. Yes, I pick up people, Pitney. Hi. Hello. Hello. They kind of upset me now. Come on, make them play. I'm doing being a dad. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that so oh, cute? Oh, yes, Just the other day, he was bringing us to the movies. I got you. Remember? Dwayne used to come pick me up. When we used to leave Pondam, Dwayne used to say, What are you doing? <laughs> All right, I'm coming for you. We're going. Mister, where we are going? We're going. We're going down to Rex. Rex is having something. And he just got me like. Next one to drop. Man, drop. Man, drop. He just got me like, like you have some children. And see what we are what back are doing now. What are you guys eating? I'm um, pizza and this. Pizza and cheese, cheesy sticks. Yeah, this is a um, pizza. That's a pizza um, party. Pizza party. This is this is spicy. Oh, that is spicy. Yes. 
doing some chores around the house i just put some clothes in the in the washer but i really wanted to share a little bit of what i was doing for my devotion right and anybody can add it my devotional routine is pretty simple i normally start with the verse of the day and the devotional that the U version app gives and then um i do a little prayer and journal and i normally read a chapter from a book the book i'm reading right now is daring to live by every word by melody mason and she talks about loving god with heart body mind and soul i just started i'm at chapter five and the title of the chapter is willing to be made willing the first steps to spiritual victory 
the scripture that we focused on was John 1 verse 12. And it said, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. And one of the most interesting things about this chapter is that he started it with a story that Rahim told us maybe about two months ago. And I know you want to hear it, so we're going to do some chores and I'm going to tell you the story. So of course, I don't remember all the names in the story, but there was this pastor. He's like a famous pastor and he talked about it in his sermons, right? He went to a church and when he went to the church, there was like a 90 something year old lady and she was like really controlling. She had the money and because she had the money, she was doing everything that she needed to do with the money and she had like the most power in church. Now when he went, she was like, hey, you do what I say or, or leave because everybody knows that I run things around here. Anyways, long story cut short, she gave the pastor hell she made the pastor's life miserable but the pastor just kept on pushing and even when um the church members were like he, you know he was praying and he was praying and fasting and the church members were like saying hey we're on your side and he was like no there is no side in god's church you know sides come from the devil blah 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 but deep down in his heart you know him never let the lady right then this lady now she's 90 something years old she drops on some ice and she's in the hospital he was kind of like saying do i go and look for her and his wife was like yes you need to go and look for her because you are a pastor and you are supposed to be a child of god so he buys her flowers and goes to the hospital and when he goes there and gives her the flowers she throws it into his face and you know kind of run him away and him go home and him vicious now and um you know he's like i'm not going back that lady made my life miserable blah 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 and his wife was like so did you pray for her salvation and <laughs> okay but yes yeah, she run you but did you pray for her salvation and and he was like but she told me to go and his wife was like yeah but you are a child of god so if you are supposed to do this duty and god sent you to do this duty then you need to go back you need, you need to find your way back spin all around and go so you know even though that was really annoying for him he did go and he sacrificed his pride and he went and when he went you know she she was very shocked and she was grateful too and like she was asking him like why you're here and he said well i admit that i don't really want to be here but my wife you know sent me and she told me to pray for your salvation and um you know the pastor was very honest and said honestly i don't like you and you've been giving my life hell but i think that it's time for both of us to repent and then the lady was like well you're the first pastor to come back and I admire that and they prayed together and they repented together and then but oh but before that she said but you can't save me because I lost the Holy Spirit years ago and he was like what so how many years long ago almost 50, over 50 years ago this lady committed a big sin and essentially that is why she was trying to do so much for the church with all, all her money and exuding so much power because she felt like there was something that she can could do and you know that the holy spirit left her and you know he just took the opportunity to reaffirm her that it's not by our works and it's by the grace of god that we were saved that we are saved and i mean ultimately this the lady died but she died in peace knowing that her redeemer lives and that his grace was sufficient for her and he got the opportunity to go back so yeah so that's how that story ended and they gave each other's hugs and everything before she died and they asked for each other's forgiveness but one of the things that really stood out to me in this entire chapter was and, and i'm going to read it for you right it says we have a choice most christians if you ask them will admit that they want to surrender self and life for jesus but they don't know how their flesh is too strong their hate too deep their cravings for sinful pleasure too overpowering and so they settle down for a life of spiritual mediocrity accepting that holy living is not possible the problem however is usually because one of two errors in their thinking first they have sought to live a holy life in their own strength and willpower and they failed miserably or they have sought to live a holy life simply by faith because both of them you need both of them you need why not the two of them why not the both of them you need faith and works and also god's redeeming grace transforms you so like kind of like by default your your actions and your works will be changed yeah anyways i'll talk on and on and on but we do have a choice and because we have a choice we have to literally just ask god to purify our hearts and search our hearts and we have to ask him to, to to take our surrender and to take our full focus because without him we are nothing his grace is sufficient for you his grace is sufficient for you 
surrender submit to his will actually submit to his will don't just say that you know but this year i am really working on being still and listening to his voice kind of cancelling out the noise i'm learning how to surrender my pride most of all because that's the only way that we will grow and seeing every lesson as an opportunity to grow you know but yeah so guys that's it for our games night and all in all it's been an amazing amazing it experience it was our first games night it was the first time hosting games night yeah um, our first time hosting anything really as a couple, so that was nice. That was That's cute. cute. This is our first um, recording in the year 2023. Yeah. So we thank you guys for coming along with us, and we wish you all the best for 2023. And we're excited to see what 2023 does for you. For us, as usual, guys, you know, it's gonna be an adventure. So stay tuned for all the episodes this year because you don't, you don't want to miss an episode of. Adventures, Adventures of XYZ. XYZ. Bye, Bye guys! guys.